covering over the Dogecoin news. But, but before we get to that, do yourself and Dogecoin a huge favor by tapping the subscribe button and tapping the like button to share this video out to people who have not been exposed to Dogecoin to further grow the Dogecoin fam, all right? That's all I ask. And let and you came for a Dogecoin news, let's get to it, all right? So today, <clears throat> I saw a pretty interesting article from uh, Femex right here. It's about Femex. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, Femex Dogecoin listing celebration giveaway distributes 4 million and much wealth to its users. So basically, this uh, Femex is um, a trading exchange where you can, you know, buy and sell, like on Binance or Kraken, you know. Same idea, same Robin Hood, right? You buy and sell on their platform for the most part. But uh, I guess since they listed Dogecoin, they gave away 4 million Dogecoins to its users who, who registered for the for that um I, I guess that giveaway d d d just for being a new user i mean <laughs> if this is not what you would call great publicity for dogecoin i don't know what is man you, you literally give away give, giving away money right so let's see four million and say dogecoin coins let's say at the current price of five four um that's like what 220k no 216k probably yeah I mean, my math probably off, but 216k to give away, just because. I mean, that's a pretty good giveaway, right? To, to, to for just signing up to the platform, right? That's pretty dope, honestly. Good on you, Femex. Now let's get to the article, because that's what I'm gonna read because I think it's interesting. So beginning in March, Femex, the fastest cryptocurrency trading platform, introduced Doge USD contracts with up to 20x leverage for the first time. Okay, the, the, the important thing to note here is that the important thing to note here is that, yeah, they listed Dogecoin in March, but the, the, the other important part to note also is that they have 20x leverage. Oh my word, that is, that is some insane leverage, okay? I mean, that's great if you know what you're doing, but at the same time, you leverage, you know, you're paying interest on that, right? Because, you know, leverage is kind of like, you know, margin. So if you're familiar with trading, you know, margin leverage is kind of the same thing. It's kind of um, the, the, the same terminology. So basically, with $1, you can buy 20 bucks worth. However, if it goes down at 1%, you are down 20%. And eventually, you're going to have something called a margin call. And then what, 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 that, does, what that does is um, it, it, um, the, the, uh, <clears throat> the exchange will liquidate your assets because you don't have enough money to kind of call the margin call. So I don't encourage people to do um, 20x leverage or any kind of leverage in general because it's very risky. What I encourage people to do is to invest. And I know it's not as, 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 as glamorous or as exciting, but if you're like me, you have a day job, right? You work, you know, eight to five, Monday to Friday, and you may not have time to day trade. Now, however, if you're day trading and you got some spare change, 20x leverage can be, say you have, have $1,000, you can... It's like it's like trading effectively with twenty grand. If you're a college student and you have and you have a thousand dollars in your bank account or you five hundred bucks, you know, and you have all the time in the world like I did when I was in when I was in college, yeah, I would I, I would you know what? I would take some time and try it out because that's honestly what I did in my college days. I, I played with a little bit of money and I leveraged like crazy and and I made enough money to kind of pay off my um college tuition. But obviously, I stopped doing that once I got a real job because I, you know it's very stressful and honestly, the people doing it. <clears throat> Isn't sustainable. It's in my honest opinion. Investing is more sustainable because it's not as, as intense, and you get burned real quick doing that kind of stuff. Day trading. So, I mean, I've been there, done that. So, I would encourage. I would not encourage it unless you have all the time in the world, and you have, and you're only gonna use what you don't, what you don't care to lose. Okay. Now, if you're like a, you know, a family and all that kind of jazz, <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest you do this kind of stuff because it's very risky, and you can get, you know, taken to the cleaners real quick. So. Unless you don't, unless you know what you're doing, then hey, I guess you know by all means, right? Do what you do you do you, right? You do what you want to do. But for the vast majority of people, you know, I would say it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> it, it, it it is truly exciting though, but I I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, I just want to explain to that point real quick because I think leverage is exciting. By the same token, be careful. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And to celebrate, kicked off a giveaway campaign offering 1 million Doge for the first 5,000 new users. So basically, all you do is sign up and they give you some Doge, right? Um, I'm not sure if it's 1 million for all 5,000, but or, or maybe it's distributed. Who knows, right? Um, I, I guess the article will probably explain 
explain more of it as we get you know get down to it. So from there, the flood the floodgate the floodgates opened, and more than forty six thousand New Year's signed up was in the first half of the entry phase. In the end, Phoenix Phoenix generously distributed four times the originally intended amount of Doge, shocking its rapidly expanding user base in the process. Okay, folks. Um, let's think of this right here. If Phoenix, um, I would say a platform that isn't as well known as a Coinbase, right? Imagine what happens when Coinbase lists Dogecoin. I would, you know, I'm not speculating here, but given the fact that the the um the, the current Dogecoin um the Dogecoin developers are implementing the Rosetta API, I would say sometime in April it, it, the, the API should be complete. And after that, you you know, you wait for um, um Coinbase to, Coinbase to list them. So we may see a possible Coinbase listing of Dogecoin, say, possibly mid April to, to to end of April, possibly. And if that happens right there, ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I do not, I do not, I do not believe anything else short of a big pump for, for Dogecoin, okay? So, let's get back to it now. Um, let's see, what's behind a Dogecoin trend that, that even celebs and CEOs, and CEOs can ignore? During the recent bull market, few coins have been as hot and trending as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dogecoin. In fact, Dogecoin might have even surpassed the top two coins in terms of overall interest and buzz. Honestly, I would agree. I was never a cryptocurrency person. I, I, you know, I was never into Bitcoin or Ethereum. I knew about them, but I never really cared about them. I heard Dogecoin. Oh boy, it just personally sucked me in and I had to invest in it. <laughs> it, it it's a meme. I love it. it uh, you know, it, it, you know, do good only every day. I mean... You know what, people? I just say I love Dogecoin. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I can't get over it. I just love it. The coin created based on the Shibu Inu meme that's, that, that says phrase such as much wow has recently been trending everywhere from TikTok to, TikTok to Twitter and has been the talk of mainstream media ever since the coin began soaring. The altcoin has even caught the attention of the celebrity world ranging from Snoop Dogg or Snoop Doge to, to Tesla CEO Elon Musk who has been affectionately dubbed the CEO of Doge. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. Elon Musk, lead us the way. Take us to the moon, my friend. Take us to the moon. <laughs> Femic lists Doge contracts. One million Doge giveaway to celebrate. The soaring interest and recurring, re and recurring, requ uh, recurring requests from users prompted Femic to respond by listing Doge USD contracts with up to 20x leverage at the start of March, you know what? Let's let's see what what the um the first few days of March looks like with um Phoenix listing it. I'm kind of curious now. So March first, let's see. Sorry guys, it's just take, take, take a little detour. I'm just a little curious, right? So let's see. March first, okay, it's a little slow. And then March seventh is when it spiked. I wonder if March 7 could be the potential day or maybe um from March 5th to March 7th. It's kind of when um the Phoenix users start to really gain traction. And that's kind of what pumped up for these three days right here. I don't know. But it, it, I was just curious about that. Well, anyway, sorry to, uh you know, um <laughs> sidetrack. The soaring interest and re, uh, where, where, uh, where is it at? Here you go. Uh, a Doge USC spot training pair was also added later in the month. The plan was to launch a giveaway coinciding with the de debut, oh, <laughs> debut, <laughs> wow, of the contract, offering an impressive 1 million doge to the first 5,000 users to register to the Phoenix Advanced Training Platform between March 1st and 15th. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, the first few days, it, it, it may not have blown up, right? And then maybe later on, it got, it got really big. So maybe that's what happened though, because you know, you know they said forty six thousand users, but they didn't say when it happened though, right? I guess from those fifteen days, we got, we got all the users, all, all those users. So I'm assuming maybe around like you know, based on charter, maybe like March fifth um, to March seventh when it kind of peaked, maybe. Um, who knows? Maybe that's what uh, triggered the spike for those days, or at least or at least contributed to those spikes. Dogecoin demanded. I'm not, Dogecoin, Dogecoin demand becomes overwhelming. Overwhelming, Phoenix responds by upping the ante. The demand for new accounts on Phoenix was overwhelming, 
reaching a total of 46,000 uh, 46, new, new users by the halfway point on March 8th. Hey, check it out. Okay, here you go. See? So that kind of explains it. You know, the 5th, 6th, and 7th, when it kind of popped up and, and, and kind of peaked. So maybe that's what happened, right? So that's kind of why it, it popped up so fast. Phoenix was forced to close the campaign early. However, it generously raised the minimum price of Doge to a staggering 4 million coins. Okay. So this kind of makes sense to me now. I, I guess uh, when, when it got incentivized, and then uh, I, I guess what happened was the uh, Phoenix had to buy all this Doge coin to distribute it to to his users, right? Because I well, or maybe possibly uh, Phoenix bought it prior, but I don't think they bought it prior because if if they need to up the ante, that means that it was kind of a last second a last second decision. So he bought a whole bunch of Doge coin to kind of pump it up. Well, not well, not pump it up, but 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 they bought a whole bunch of Doge coin to distribute it. So that kind of makes sense to me, okay? <laughs> so maybe this is part of the reason why Phoenix Phoenix actually contributed contributed to the pump for the for five six and seven right there. Hey, thank you Phoenix. I thank you Phoenix. I appreciate you. <laughs> began a Phoenix began a painstaking process of eliminating duplicate IPs and ensuring all all participants strictly adhere to the contest rules and completed all necessary tasks. Um, okay. Phoenix then selected a grand total of 20,800 new registered accounts that fully qualified for the mo promotion and awarded the 4 million Dogecoin accordingly. Oh, wow. So each, so 20,000, wait, let's do, let's do some basic math here. Let's see. So 40 million, one second. 40 million, oh wait, this is not good. I can't really see it. <laughs> let's see. 40 million, 40 million divided by 20,080. Oh, how cool. So each user got about 19, no, each user got um, 1,992 Dogecoin, effectively 2,000 Dogecoin. So basically each person got about, let's see, each person got about 100 bucks. That's a pretty cool giveaway. Honestly, Robinhood doesn't do that. I mean, Robinhood gives you like, you know, a free stock or something, but it can range from a dollar to $150, right? Or I don't know. I forget I forget the actual range, but you know, I don't think Robinhood, Robinhood is inclined to give you like, like Apple stock for 120 bucks all the time to everyone who, 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 who signs up here. But hey, good on Phoenix for doing this. This is really good for Dogecoin, you know, and, and the company itself. I applaud you for that. A full 4 million Doge distributed to more than... 20,000 Phoenix users. A blog post from Phoenix shared transparent details regarding the entire distribution of its price and the end more than 20,000 users received a share of 4 million Doge valued today at approximately 200, 200K US dollars. The incredible, the incredible demand for the both Phoenix combined with a soaring interest in Doge and crypto in general caused an unprecedented 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 wave of new users flooding the platform like never before. Okay. As as each cryptocurrency gets its time in the spotlight, traders can take advantage of various trading tools on Phoenix to increase their chances for success, manage risk, and more. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I just want to take a quick look at, at, at a Phoenix series, see what it looks like. So I click markets right here, right? Dogecoin number nine. That is pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's moving up there, up, up the chain right here, right? So it's kind of like, I guess, maybe, maybe, um, Phoenix listed by maybe not, not necessarily, uh, market cap, but maybe the, 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 the list of coins by popularity, possibly. But if, it, but if it is by popularity, I'm inclined to believe Doge should be a number one, but, you know, obviously I'm just being a little biased here. Okay. Very well. Uh, about us, okay. So basically, Phoenix started in 2017. A bunch of Wall Street and traders, Jack Tao, and other founding members of Phoenix, of Phoenix, of Phoenix, identified as a lack of professionalism. Okay, trustworthiness and customer support within the crypto industry. Okay, I could I could agree with that because before that, I, I always thought the crypto was just like you know, like a, a pump and dump and very schemey and pyramid scheme. So I, I never really, so I never really, so I personally. Never really, never really got into it, and, and I, I guess that makes sense as most well people who are in the stocks like me. Let's see here. Okay, one more thing to note also that Karina Kopp actually gets a tattoo after Elon Musk calls her out. 
this was an article written yesterday, uh, or um, I thought it was pretty interesting, actually. So, <laughs> after promising to get a Doge tattoo, once you reach 50,000 tweets, um, retweets on Twitter, influ Instagram influencer Karina Kopp has finally showed through on the challenge after an intervention from Elon Musk. Okay, Elon Musk, our boy, here, taking care of business. I like that. All right. Back in January, uh, Instagram influencer and gamer, oh, she, she plays games, Karina Kopp decided that she would get a Dogecoin tattoo if she reached 50,000 retweets after it became po particularly popular around that time. 50,000 retweets and I'll get a Dogecoin tattoo on my rear end. <laughs> Pictures included. Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency inspired by the virtu in, uh, virtu viral Shibu Inu Doge meme. Initially introduced back in 2013, but experienced a surge in popularity in 2021. Karina appeared to hit her goal relatively early on, on according to one Twitter user who said it hit 50k right at the start and she didn't do it. She's only in it for the clout. Alongside an image that showed she had reached the goal she su she su uh, she suggested. Yeah. Dogecoin worldwide, replying to Bart Wallace, uh, Karina Kopp, and Elon Musk. It hit 50k right at the start, and she didn't do it. She's only in it for a clout. <laughs> this was a response in, uh, to a thread on March 24, March 24 where, Car where Karina said if Elon Musk followed her, she would buy one Bitcoin. That then led to Elon Musk himself, himself replying to the disgruntled Twitter user who called Karina out for not following through on getting the tattoo. Was Elon saying, you raise a good point, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Elon tweets seem to prompt the influencer to finally get the tattoo as she revealed in a tweet on March 26th the word Doge inked in an unusual place. <laughs> Karina tagged the CEO in reply to the tweet, but it's unclear whether or not he's seen a new tattoo. Regardless, it seems regardless, he seemed to have been the person to fully convince the star to follow through on a promise. And fans are impressed that she that she's actually done it. Okay. <laughs> you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this is why my boy Elon Musk, the Techno King, the CEO of, of um, Dogecoin, can get things done, all right? <laughs> that's why I buy Dogecoin, honestly. Well, that's one of the many that's one of the many reasons why because Elon Musk handles business. I respect that. <laughs> um if you wish, if you watch this far, just do me a huge favor. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and and and, and ladies as well. To so just tap the subscribe button and tap the like button, so we can share these video out, these videos out of Dogecoin to people who have not been exposed to Dogecoin, so we can grow the community. Okay, this is Hey John. I will catch you all on the next one.